This will probably come as no surprise to you, but I'm the kind of guy who likes lists. You know that uh, Nick Hornby book, High Fidelity? You know, well, that's basically me, although I think probably every man of my age imagines that that's them. And when I see movies, I often come out and think, oh, I wonder what the top five, you know, best uh, disaster movies are, or the top five best scenes featuring animals in flight, or the top five, whatever comes to my head. Well, recently, I went to see uh, Get Into the Greek, which is the new movie starring Russell Brand. And it's Russell Brand stars as a kind of a rock star, and it's kind of okay, it's not great, but there are some laughs in it, not as many as I would have hoped, but not as few as I had feared. But the one thing I did like about the film is that as the rock star Alder Snow, Russell Brand does get to perform a number of songs which are unbelievably crass and stupid, but just on the right side of crass and stupid, that they could actually legitimately have been real pop hits. Remember, we live in a world in which a song which said, relax, don't do it, when you want to come, got to number one, the band standing up on television and saying it's not about sex, it's about unemployment. So I kind of believed it when Alder Snow had a hit with, I want to be inside of you, or there's an African child inside of me, or the mighty bangers, beans and mash. Those are the kind of songs that could genuinely have become hits. And I started making a list in my head that I will share with you now of the top five pop pastiche songs from the movies and television. And straight in at number five, it's The Ruttles, the soundtrack to All You Need Is Cash. There are so many great Ruttles tunes to choose from that could so easily have been pop hits. Their albums, A Hard Day's Rut, Ticket to Rut, Sergeant Rutter's Only Darts Club Band, the spin-off singles, uh, Please Please Hold My Hand, the immortal Goose Step Mama with that fabulous line, You've Got Nothing to Einstein Dry Fear. But my choice here is Cheese and Onions with the terrifically Lennon-esque couplet, I've always thought in the back of my mind, cheese and onions. See, to me, the Ruttles are the band the Beatles could have been if they could write songs. At number four, a sentimental favourite from A Mighty Wind by Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara, Kiss at the End of the Rainbow. It went on to be a highlight of the Oscars. It was Oscar nominated and they performed it live on the Oscar stage. So many great songs to choose from, from the Mighty Wind soundtrack, including Never Did No Wandering and, of course, Old Joe's Place, E. Ah, O's, but Kiss at the End of the Rainbow gets it for me. Every time I hear it, I do genuinely start to think, you know, I'm feeling tearful and not in a funny way. Into three and we're back into the small screen. Bad news and more bad news may not have been great. They may have been subspinal tap, but they did produce one great song, the mighty Warriors of Genghis Khan. Think of the lyrical complexity. Burning, looting, raping and a shooting. Burning, looting, raping and a shooting. Burning, looting, raping and a shooting because I'm a warrior of Genghis Khan. As the band themselves explain, the lyrics are political, although more poetical political. At two, there's a surprise entry from Christopher Rizitschke. Now, I didn't even know that this song was a pastiche. I thought it was genuine. You remember Local Hero? You remember the scene in which Victor, the Russian, turns up at the Kaylee and he is invited onto the stage to sing his own favourite song. Even the Lone Star State gets lonesome. Lonesome for the Lone Star men like me. When I was in Penham with Bill Forsyth, I said, you know, I've been trying to find the original version of that song because I really like it and I'd like to do it with the Dodge Brothers. He said, well, you're going to have a hard job because that song was written specifically for that film by Mark Knopfler. That's how good it was. I thought it was a real daft Southern American song. No, it's a pastiche. So here's that rundown for you, pop pickers. At five, it's the Ruffles and Cheese and Onions, not off. At four, it's Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara, the soundtrack of A Mighty Wind and There's a Kiss at the End of the Rainbow. And I'm sure there is. At three, bad news, we're warriors of Genghis Khan, aren't we all? At two, a surprise entry, Chris Rosicki and even the Lone Star State gets lonesome and straight in at number one, no surprises, that it's Spinal Tap from This Is Spinal Tap. But the question is, which Spinal Tap gem is it? There are so many to choose from. Stonehenge, no one knows who they were or what they were doing, but their legacy lives on, hewn into the living rock. Or perhaps Big Bottoms, or working on a sex farm, in which they took the idea of sex and put it on a farm. But no, it's none of those. My favorite Spinal Tap song is the song which our heroes sing while sitting in a cafe, remembering their first work together in an early skiffle band. It is, of course, the majestic all the way home. If she's not on the 515, I'm going to know what sadness means. And I'm going to cry, cry, cry all the way home, 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 all the way home. Goes on and on and on like that. And I'll tell you what, 
I am genuinely currently working on a version of that to play with my skiffle band, and I'll be touring with it this summer.